Okay, 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 okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Very good, boys and girls. Okay, I need you to all to take your seats for roll call, please, and listen up for your name. All right, thanks. Thanks. Uh, Frederick Douglass, here. Okay, good, Frederick. Nice to see you. Uh, Susan B. Anthony, here. All right, hi, Susan. All right, uh, Leon Trotsky, here. Okay, a little aggressive there, buddy. Very good. Uh, che Guevara, aquí. Oh, muy bueno, right? All right, uh, Dr. King. Dr. King, hey, 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 what have I told you about sleeping in my class, sir? No, Martin, I do not want to hear about another one of your dreams. You stay awake <laughs> in my class. Okay, I, 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 Cesar Chavez, please stop confiscating Ben Franklin's grapes. I do not care who started it, sir. Okay, you find a peaceful resolution, sir. Who is tapping me relentlessly like they cannot see I'm talking? Of course, of course. Yes, Miss Tubman, yes? Okay, fine, you can take the hall pass. No, hey, listen, you do not need to take 20 people in a mat with you every time you go to the bathroom, Harriet. <laughs> God. Okay, class, listen, settle down, settle down, and please open your books to chapter 5, and uh, let's begin reading the story aloud called Going Against the Grain. That's right. Okay, let's assign characters. Who would like to read the role of dictator? Anyone? Anyone? I'm waiting. No one? No one wants to read the role of dictator here? I'm waiting for a volunteer. I'm waiting for, uh, yes, good, excellent, Castro, you got it. Okay, <laughs> who would like to be the voice of the people? Someone? So, all right, excellent, Mandela, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, who would like to be the change they want to see? Anyone? Anyone new? <laughs> Anyone besides Mahatma? Fine, Mahatmas, you got it. All right, it's yours again. Okay, class, let us begin. What if revolutionaries had a school? A new way to learn the tools that their revolution will use. A course, uh, say, speech writing from prison 101. Right? Uh, a, a book, organized resistance for dummies. Right? Uh, uh, a curriculum like Marcus Garvey University meets Singularity University. Surely there must be some training to attend and, and a ceremony with a certificate at the end and a diploma to hang up and show to friends so that we can distinguish us from them. Because if we can't tell the revolutionaries from the normal folk, then maybe the revolutionaries can't either. Right? Perhaps they see only the flammable potential in each of us. Maybe they seek only the, the combustible collision between us. Maybe the curriculum for Revolution 101 is not so tough. Maybe one day you just refuse to go to the back of the bus. Maybe you start off not as Martin, but as Rosa, just a regular gal. Maybe you don't save the planet as president, but it's just some guy named Al. You're just tired and like your chair. You're just breathing and like your air. You're just trying to add your little piece of luster to this world that we all share. You're just going about living your life until, boom, the bombs drop and, and shrapnel your peace, forcing you up in arms to fight for all that you believe, to harness your thinking like a weapon, declare your mission like a major, and the church explodes and Martin declares peace. The stomach growls and Chavez says equality. The whip cracks and Harriet whispers freedom. The, the stocks plummet and the 99 cent declare democracy. The school fails him. The student becomes a red mark staining his possibilities. The unemployment becomes a virus infecting the economy. The crime rate becomes a stray bullet penetrating a, 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 a playground. And someone, someone here says, education. And suddenly you join this rank the ranks of this army, this army of unconventional thinkers at this convention hall who have convened at this annual boot camp for the past five years to train their brains to tackle transformation topics and, and independent matters and celebrate the revolutionary mindset at every touch point. I can see it. I can see students passing each other in the halls, giving each other the book power fist. Book power, brother. Book power. 
huh? Right? Professors start classes with power to the pupils. Power to the pupils. Right? Uh, deans respond in staff meetings shouting, right on, sister, right on. Uh, graduates in commencement calling out, you got to fight the powers that be, like declaring your major, like finding your cause, like accepting your mission and taking on the job and the purpose and the identity of a revolutionary to own it like I am Malcolm X. I am John Adams. I am Huey Newton. I am Sekou Andrews. I am Aisha Jenkins and, and Kim Yao and Mauricio Hernandez. I am every fearless revolutionary sitting right around me right now who sits here unafraid to let this world know your true intentions, right? Who stands facing the direction of the grain, unafraid to go against it. I am 91-year-old Norman Lear who wears camouflage PJs to bed and a green beret shower cap to bathe because he has fought this world and that he gives to his kids and wears his soldier every day. It's like, you better suit up. I am 20-something-year-old, what's your name? What's your name? Alex. Alex, huh? Huh? I am Alex. Are you a them graduate who sees the straight and narrow path before him and makes a fork of it? And then sees the forks in his road and makes a spoon of it and a knife of it, huh? Makes a legacy of it and a life of it. Like, you better make room. I am 14-year-old Taylor Warnett. World peace with straight A's and six billion Facebook friends who insist on asking this world dumb questions until the world's answers get smarter. You better get ready. I am Five-year-old Omari Benjamin, a single blade of grass with a Dora the Explorer briefcase who can't wait to spark wildfires. You better stand back. I am nine-month-old Taylor Wilson, revolution in size one sneakers, <laughs> and governments tremble at the pounding of my imminent footsteps. Watch out, I am.